Somebody that you used to date been afflicted by bad tone? We've all known somebody. Well, I'm here to help. Hey, what's up? Uh, George here. It's no secret that I've been working on the updated Superplex circuit. Uh, for perspective, the Superplex was based on this 1966 Marshall JTM 45 100. It's uh, big transformers, KT66 tubes, it's crazy high voltage. It's got tons of low end. It's uh, some of my favorite plexi clean sounds, and it um, never really gets aggressive in the upper mid range crunch area like later plexis do. It's uh, this is your Hendrix, early Hendrix, you know, like the best clean Strat tones ever. This is that amp. And so the, uh, the Superplex is based on that. And the original circuit, I really fell in love with, but I always felt like I could get closer. And so what I've done now is I've gone back to the drawing board. I've got the audio analyzer running and analyzing each part of the circuit that times literally down to the uh, component and uh, what's the signal like on this side of the component versus on the other side of the component sweeps phase harmonics took a long time but now the superplex mark ii is coming to be and this is the same feature set for the most part as the original Superplex, but I started over with the same design intent, but refined things along the way. So now what you have is an amp with two different gain levels. I always say modes. So let's say uh, the first mode, just like the foot switch shows, mode A or mode one, whatever you want to call it, is when the LED is off. And that is the mode with less gain. And in this case, mode one is 
a recreation of this stock JTM 45100. So the gain levels, the way the gain pot works, the EQ, the frequency balance, the harmonics are a stock 45100. So uh, if, we, if we listen to that, I don't know if you can see the headmaster, but the green light is the original 45100 and the red light is the Superplex Mark II in the first mode. That's the 45100. And this is the Superplex. That's the amount of gain that the original 45100 tops out at stock. Uh, it's worth noting that, uh, I don't know if you can see, but the AC line voltage for this amp is at 105. If it was at 120, the voltage is kind of off the charts and it also gets really kind of ice picky and strident. Sounds much better down here. Uh, but because of that, you do hear, when I play this hard, you hear some saturation kick in and it you hear it squish down a bit if you could see it even on the very act there's an amp meter and when i hit hard you see the amperage go up which means the power supply is squishing down and things are saturating uh and this is just on my phone it's not a scientific clip i didn't even level match more than just hitting a few chords before i hit record so uh take it for what it's worth over the coming weeks, I'll set up the mics and do proper clips and maybe comparisons. But for the sake of letting everyone know that the Superplex Mark II exists and it's coming, here we are. <laughs> switch now you're in the second mode this is the higher gain mode and that picks up where this stock amp leaves off uh, so once again the, the the gain control is dimed and I'll I'll alternate back and forth between the stock mode and the, the higher gain mode so now it's the higher gain. that's the 45 One thing that was ever present for me while I was tweaking that was I didn't want to go from stock JTM 45 sound to over the top, I don't know, diode clipping, modern sounding, high gain. This amp was never intended to do that. What this is, is if you, it had to retain the, the feel the roundness in the bottom end of the old 45100, the uh, the pick attack, the um, there's a little there's a honky frequency in the mid range on this amp, on this amp that that had to be retained even once you start building in more gain, and so I I kind of obsessed over that. You probably I don't know if you can pick that up on the cell phone video, but. It's in there. I'll illustrate that in some better clips. Um, and just a few other things. It, it is 
I intended to have this out months ago. Uh, there was something that had to be in here, and that something is a brand new master volume circuit that I created. So this is a, a master volume circuit that's not uh, the typical type that you find in a, in a Marshall. It's not a post phase inverter master volume. It's not a variation on any of the uh, popular master volumes or mods that are out there. This is something that I came up because as I was designing, every time I got up to the point where there's supposed to be a master volume in the circuit, I just got bummed out. Just all that tone and dynamics and the harmonics that you create in the front end of the amp, you get up to the point where you want to just be able to control it before it hits the phase inverter and the power amp and it just falls apart. And so this was born of that frustration design wise and it's the best master volume I've ever put in any amp. So it had to be in there. It's, it's been a delay with the amp, made me rethink a few other things in the circuit, but I think when you hear it, you'll agree that it was worth it. Uh, you don't lose any tone. And I mean, at whisper levels, the tone doesn't change. So it's another thing that you're not gonna be able to really analyze scientifically on this you know, down and dirty clip, but I'll play it for you and turn it down just so you can see. guitar strings acoustically are louder than the sound coming out of the speakers. That's the uh, Superplex Mark II version. It's going to be in production in just a week or two. It's the new master volume. It's, if you ever wanted an amp that was a stock, authentic, spot on 1966 era Plexi, and then had other features, it's got the effects loop, it's got the foot switch, it's got the built-in boost. I didn't even get to that yet. I changed the boost circuit. I made it two transistors now, with a, a completely made from scratch EQ section. It's got a different kind of gain pot so that the, uh, the way that the gain pot controls the frequency balance, it's not just a pot with a bright cap, it's a different circuit. Uh, so every part of this uh, circuit has been obsessed over and analyzed and built up got 90% of the way there, got frustrated, tore it back down to nothing, built it up again. And uh, it's coming. Superplex Mark II. Thanks, guys. <laughs>